Hey guys, what's up? My name is Cameron Penner, and welcome back to Let's Make a Game. Today we're working on the robot battle game again. And, uh, yep. Let's just hop right on in. So far what we have is we can select our guys, and we can move them around, and we can select multiple guys by dragging and clicking. Uh, and then they all move along, so that's good. Uh, what I would like to do now is for my robots I want them to turn depending on where they're uh, which direction they're facing so I want to say wh what was the name of the chassis rotation chassis rot we're going to set chassis rot equal equals direction. I want to see if that'll work. If that works, that'd be great. Yep. And then if you change direction, he'll turn around like that. That's good. And we can make this just for um just because we can, we're going to make the transparency. Where's the opacity? We'll just go like that. Just for let's check the mask. Mask is still good. Just um, for testing, so we can still see our guy and stuff. So that's good. But right now the gun is still pointed the other direction, which is not what we're wanting. And th remember, these sprites are all temporary. So we can change that by saying we're gonna also have a variable. Move, there's move X and move Y and we're also going to add a target X and target Y so that's going to be I don't know zero <laughs> and target Y equals zero this is just for to initialize it not that we need to because we're doing this but we're going to initialize it anyways so then we also want to set gun rot equals point direction x y target x comma target y and that will work you'll see they'll all be pointed towards the top left corner of the screen at all times uh, so what we're going to do eventually is whichever robot unit they're targeting, they're going to be pointing at it instead of not it. So what I want to do now is make it so that they push apart when they collide. So we're just going to add a simple thing in here, collision with itself. So this all robots will push against all robots. We're going to... Hmm. Step towards. Yeah, we'll try this. Step towards other dot x other dot y. This is not the right numbers, by the way. So we're just going to say three. I don't, I don't know what we want to do here. We'll say solid only. And we'll say relative, and then I think we can actually other x minus x, right? Let me just think about this. If he's here, and I'm here, if his number is subtracted by that number, uh, whatever, we can always test it. We'll just go like this. And then I think that might be backwards. Yeah, that's backwards. We'll try x minus other x by just going like this and then hitting relative. See if that works. Oh, this might do that uh, other weird thing. Okay, we're gonna not use this. This is this is that we can do that, but that's not gonna be the way we're gonna. We'll just say point direction other dot x other dot y comma x comma y and then we'll just say 
one. And that should push them away, but they might continue to push, so we'll just create friction variable point two. And that should do it. Let's see what happens when they move together. They uh they bounce off each other. So that's kind of messy. <laughs> Look at that. That's no good. All right, I'm going to I'm going to do this thing where I think for a little bit and then I'm going to come back and see if there are better ways of doing that. All right. I think I put together something that should be good. I'll show you what I did. This motion thing, I decided I didn't like it. So I put in a new one. I'll show you how it looks and then I'll show you the code afterwards. Uh, the guy moves. He kind of speeds up. As you can see, he turns a little. Which is which I think is smoother than the other turning that we had before. And the guys can go and bump into each other and it's a little smoother. Every once in a while it does a little bit of of funny pushing where he flips around or whatever but it seems to not generally it works great so if you take a whole bunch of guys and push them to the same spot now that <laughs> that was a really good example uh, normally it doesn't work quite that nice but anyway so you, you see a little bit of them flipping back and forth but uh, I might be able to find a way to fix that in the future anyways I'll show you what the code is pretty much we add motion in the direction that we want to be moving speed of one and if we're too far away from our target that we want to be going to and this number might get smaller or bigger depending on something this is just so that if there's a whole bunch of them going in the same place it doesn't it doesn't go funny kind of <coughs> and this is if he's close enough then this makes him stop nice and quick and then if he's going faster than his max speed, then he just sets his speed to max speed so that he won't accelerate faster than makes sense. And then when he collides, he just adds motion that pushes in the direction of from the other guy to this guy so that he just pushes away pretty much at the speed of 1.5. And then what I've done is I've added some friction just to help him so he doesn't end up going in circles around something so it slows him down so he can actually just land straight on that point so that's good so far now what would be cool is if we could add bullets and a little bit of shooting before we call it an episode I don't know if we'll get around to that yet this episode but I'm gonna see what I can do so we're gonna add a bullet Remember, all these sprites are temporary. I think I said that already, but just for clarification. So let's go. Something like that should be all right. And then we'll just... Oh, we can just go like that. Good enough. That's a nice bullet. And we're going to set the X to zero, just because it's good. <coughs> so now we want to add a bullet object. Bullet. Ooh, we should uh, not have friendly fire. Let's not have friendly fire. Actually, let's not have bullets at all. There are better ways of doing this. Maybe not. Maybe we should do bullets. Okay, here, here's what I'm thinking. We have multiple options here. And I'm just going to whip open the good old-fashioned paint. Here's one guy. And here's... Here, let's get a color for the bad guys. Here's a bad guy. And this guy can shoot at the bad guy. Now he can either shoot a bullet that takes multiple frames to get here and then hit the guy, which is unrealistic. It would all happen in one frame if it was an actual bullet. So what we can do is we have our guy, <laughs> this is really nice drawing. I'm doing this all with a mouse, so. Uh, so we can either have option one where he shoots a bullet and it takes multiple frames to get there. And he might, and he can potentially miss, but then we don't really need to set a range on it, or, oh, we can set a range. 
so that the bullet destroys itself after a certain amount of frames so that you can't shoot someone that's like super far away. But our other option is we just draw a muzzle flare, something like that, and then we just draw potentially the bullet all the way to the target or not draw the bullet at all and just have a little ding on this unit and then say this guy just took damage and you can't miss so all of your strategy works out great and then and so if okay I'm just imagining Marines in Starcraft where and you can just look it up if you want but they don't actually shoot bullets well they technically but the coding in the game it just makes a muzzle flare and then it takes damage off of whichever target he's pointing at which I think is a great idea so we're going to and if you say no we like we can add other units that shoot physical bullets but this way no don't save that I don't want that don't save okay so we can uh, I'm gonna scrap this for now we're gonna call it muzzle flare uh, flare and then we're going to edit this and call this flare. And then we're going to edit this and say not scale, transform, resize. And we want to make this 32 and the height to be something good. 24 might be enough. And then we can dump, replace that. And then go ahead and turn that up and draw ourselves a good old-fashioned muzzle flare. Now here's my thing. I'm used to GameMaker 8.0 and this is not 8.0 so oh, that was bad muzzle flare. I'll fix it. And this is 8.1 and I'm also used to having the registered version but I don't have it on this computer because I've I've bought it twice for two other computers for and one was for like version 7 and then version 8 came out and I got a new computer put it on that one and now I'm on this computer and I don't have it again and I I don't want to buy it again but I don't know if they recognize my old licenses that I have and if I can transfer that over so we'll see what happens if I somehow end up buying a new registered version or something. But till then we're going to be playing with light, which is cool because then you guys can all do exactly what I'm doing. But what I'm getting at is there's this thing where set variable um, blending modes. Blend? All right, we're going to look it up. Uh, BM add is the blending mode that I want to be using. This is only available in the standard edition and we're using the light edition. Okay, so we can't do that. So what happens is it adds it so it makes it look like the flare is lighting stuff up and it looks great. But we're just going to say animation end destroy self. So that's too bad, but we'll see if we end up getting some of that stuff so we can use some blending modes. Till then, this will be all right. Oh, also we should uh, set variable image angle. <laughs> Why am I using this? I haven't been using this at all. Image angle equals direction. Cool. So now we are going to say control step um, <laughs> now there's a whole bunch of extra code that has to go in to decide when he's gonna shoot we're going to put in some good old-fashioned one bad guy and maybe we should have a different chassis depending on whether he's good or bad but maybe he'll just, they'll probably just have different glow underneath them depending on which team they're on. So we want a good guy. When I global right press, if selected equals one, if uh, place meeting, maybe? 
place meeting. Wow, I guessed it right. Uh, mouse underscore x comma mouse underscore y is an object robot bad. I thought I would finish typing it for me, but it did not. Then we want to do something else. We want to do this thing, if you know what I mean. So then we want to say target equals, uh oh, I'm going to quickly check how place meeting works and I'll bring you guys with that. Place meeting and this is, this is how coding goes guys uh, and this is not just because of 8.1. This is, every time I make a game I learn something new about Game Maker. So place meeting returns whether an instance can be placed at an object. It can also be an instance ID. Okay. So what? So okay, that was my what I was wondering. So then target equals place me. Actually, we can just copy this whole thing here. We're gonna say target equals that guy and then we're gonna say um, everything else can go after that so I think is that fair is that fair now we're gonna add we're gonna add a little bit just for testing purposes Gonna add a new sprite target, and this is probably gonna be one of the fanciest sprites I've made yet for uh, this game. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. You know what? Just for completeness' sake, let's put one of these in there. All right. <laughs> okay, there we go. Call the event and then draw. Draw bright target. SPR target. Why does it complete sprites and not objects? Uh, sub image zero comma target dot x comma target dot y if the target exists can you check null if target not <laughs> equals null is that a thing or is that <laughs> is that a different language uh, I just did a school year of only Java, so I don't know this stuff <laughs> quite. Oh, well, I know it. It's just is it all gets mushed together. So we're gonna run that. See if they all what? Oh, he targets himself. Okay, something weird happened. Uh, target dot x. I don't know why. Right, global right pressed. If place meeting. Six object robot bad. So the robot bads draw. Okay, what do we have in here that we don't have? Let's go like this and give the bad robot all the same information. These are going to change depending on different stuff. So this might be able to just go in the parent for now, but this is just for testing stuff. So let's see what this does. Whoa! Oh, he wants to move right up there. Okay. Oh, about bad. Let's say move. Move x equals z equals x, and move y equals y. For now. All right. Cool. Why? He's targeting. He's targeting himself. Okay. Draw 
target dot x if target is not null global right pressed if we right click if selected then you'll set your target to this guy all right I'm gonna do some looking and then I will be right back all right so uh, this thing uh, I I kind of read it wrong so we're gonna scrap that and we're gonna use this thing uh, but we're actually gonna use these parameters I believe that'll work so we're <laughs> see if this happens now there we go so it set the target on this guy that's good and we can't control this guy because he's not one of us he's not one of us uh, he's not good enough to be controlled by us so that's good now we just want to say we want to add another variable <laughs> and we're gonna call it range so that'll go with max speed range equals how big should it be a hundred is hundred too close let's take let's take a look at this range is a hundred a hundred is say he can shoot from here to here that's not big enough we want him to shoot about um 250 we'll, we'll try testing with 250 and see how that feels 250 and depending on what gun they have they'll have bigger range right upgrades and stuff so that's good now oh that's the bad guy okay let's put this in for the good guy too I know lots of copy pasting is bad habits but you know whatever so hey does this Oh, okay. So we might actually scrap these, by the way. But we probably won't because... Actually, yeah, we, we probably will. Yep, scrap them. We have something better. So now let's go... Yes, please save those changes. We just need to call that in there. And that will... Then we can yoink this. Cool. Now, we're going to save changes to that as well. Thank you for asking. Now, we want to say for the robot step if <laughs> if target not equals null. I still don't know if this works. Did this? Then we're gonna, okay. I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna look at that other thing quickly. Did I end up going with that bit of code for this guy when we right press? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and see what happens here. So we want to, here, let's clean this up a little. Uh, I haven't been putting any comments in. I'm probably gonna have to soon. Well, I'll I'll do that some other time. But right now, if there's no target, uh, if there is a target, then do that. Else, gun rot equals chassis rot. Bam. That's good. That'll look good. So if he just got a guy and he doesn't have a new target yet, then he'll just go straight. And also, once all the bad guys are gone, then he'll just point straight. So that'll look good. Now, <laughs> let's run that and see what happens. Uh, cool, he has no target. Now he has a target, and he points over there. So that's perfect. Except for this should not be target X. This should be target dot X and target dot Y. And other than that... I think we're almost ready to start firing in. Look at that. Doesn't that just look snazzy? Sweeto. Except for the sprites are really bad. But that'll get fixed yet. Don't worry. I'm going to eventually go in and change sprites. Most definitely. 
So right now this guy's being targeted by this guy, and that's all good. And now I just want to add in shooting, and then we're going to call it an episode for sure. I don't even know if we'll get there, but we're going to say create. Uh, for these guys, we're going to do another variable in here, max life equals uh, 100 and life, or my life actually, my life equals max life. What's going to happen is it's going to have the max life variable given to it and then it'll just set its life to that variable. So this is going to get yoinked out but this bit will not so we're gonna go like this for now and we're gonna have to copy this to the bad guy actually I should be putting this in the in the parent event so we're gonna go like this and put that in there cool and then in this guy will yoink that we don't need it and then in this guy we will yoink that and then let's start this shooting if step okay okay <laughs> I'm putting the comments in now motion or moving this is um, pointing parts and now let's move on to some more and this is going to be shooting if uh, point distance x y target dot x target dot y is less than range then what let's close that off is that closed now it's closed what was I thinking then we will try to shoot so let's what happened what happened here okay let's there we go if shoot equals one zero Maybe we'll say shot. No, we'll stick with shoot. I've always used shoot. Uh, I okay. We got to do double equals here. I've always done double equals, and even though Game Maker doesn't need it, if shoot equals one, target dot my life minus minus equals. <laughs> we're gonna go 10 this is gonna change change 10 to damage call that's just a comment to myself and we're going to say if target not equals actually I want to check something let's back this up okay we're gonna go here and take oh yeah right uh, I figured that out by the way by the end of the last episode after I finished recording it then okay good what I wanted to check is whether it was drawing targets on up in this top corner here which it is not so that means that the whole drawing thing where is it for this good guy here that means we can do this target not equals null so, what we're going to do is in step, if target not equals null, oh, there's got to be a better way to do this. Whoopsie. Okay. So, we're going to say if it's not null, then we're going to say target on my life, my guys equals 10. And then we are also going to say shoot equals one and then alarm 
how do you do this with GML equals a 10. So 10 is going to be our delay. So you'll be able to shoot about three times a second. And then also instance create x comma y comma object flare. Cool. But what we also want to do is say flare equals and then and then this is the sweetest thing ever by the way instance create and I said this in a different video already but instance create also returns the instance that it creates so now we can say flare dot direction equals gun rot <laughs> uh, there we technically we should say point direction this but that's already been done here so and plus it should just go in the same direction as a gun rotation so we're just gonna do it like this perfectly acceptable and then we're going to say in alarm zero almost done for this episode alarm oh, what am I doing here uh, shoot equals zero cool hit save run it up bam he's within range he's shooting uh, here he is not within range here he's within range so that's cool also this, this this flare thing is not setting image angle equals direction create flare ah boy I'm doing something wrong here. Let's figure this out. Um, flare dot direction equals. You know what? Let's just say flare dot image angle, and just skip straight to the point. This is what I used to always do. Is I would use this, and then I would whatever variable I wanted to pass over, I would pass it over in direction, and then I would take the variable on the other side from direction and then set the direction to whatever I wanted it to be but now we're actually just doing it in code how it's supposed to be done so I don't know if that made sense to you but we're going to go to the flare and just actually trash that delete that we don't need that okay and then also let's just make this two images long just for we can image opacity and we'll just turn it down a little just so that something's happening and now let's try running this one more time and see if this is okay yeah that's working great cool so that's what we have and this guy's healthier by the way is dwindling and we might add health bars next episode I'll make a note for myself health bars have a little piece of paper here anyways that's all we're gonna be doing today thank you for watching if you have any good ideas for future episodes of stuff I can add to this game go ahead and let me know